Team, I love me, me, me. Welcome back to day seven of Vlogmas 2017. Stay tuned for the question of the day. All right, day seven of Vlogmas 2017. The question of the day is, once the trust is broken, can it be remended? The short answer is, yes, it can be. I'm going to give you a few tips on how to repair the trust once it's been broken. Jump in. For that person that wants to mend the trust, this is going to take a lot of patience on your part. Because for whatever reason, you broke the trust. But now you want to keep this person on your team. It's going to take a lot of patience because that other person is going to have a lot of questions. You got to be willing to let down your guard. You got to be willing to just answer the questions and, and especially get out of the way of why the trust, uh, I'm sorry, why the trust was broken in the first place. Get that out of the way so it's not like some bad karma or even some small hanging over your relationship. And that way you can get this out into the fresh air as to why the trust was broken. Whether right or wrong, that's beside the point. Get it out in the air. The person is obviously willing to work with you, but you got to be open. You got to be forthright. You got to just let down your guards and be like, you know what? F it. I didn't have these conversations prior to, which was why the trust was broken. Now it's time to have these conversations. But you got to be patient. You got to be willing to open up your heart. You got to be willing to open up your mind. You got to be willing to brick by brick break down that wall that's around your heart. Yeah, break it down, knock it down, do whatever it is to get rid of it so you can allow this person to truly be in your life. Uh, the person must be willing to be very transparent uh, no matter why the trust was actually broken in the first place. You have to understand that you are going to want to get frustrated by even answering some of the same questions over and over again. But don't get frustrated because this too shall pass. If you really want to fight for your relationship, if you really want that person to stick around, because you broke this trust, now you got to stand the test of time to get it to mend back together. So don't get frustrated. Answer the questions. And, and remember, there are going to be tons and tons of questions. She might ask you this. I always say she. You know how I do. But you might want to ask a question. You feel that you have already answered it multiple times. Try to figure out a way that you can answer the question, but a different way. Like, slow down. Don't get frustrated because, obviously, something about how you answered it previously is not sinking into your partner's head. They still don't understand that particular question, which is why the same question keeps surfacing. So don't get frustrated. Just be transparent. And then you have to figure out another way to get your partner to understand why that same question keeps coming up so you can lay that question to bed. You also have to understand that no couple that it is now in their blissful state, no couple, listen to me, no couple that has been together for years and years and years have not gone through something. Every couple has gone through something in order to get to that blissful state. It doesn't matter what that something is because what you can handle in your relationship, maybe you can't handle what they went through in their relationship. But don't compare your relationship to nobody else's. That's a recipe for disaster. Keep the lines of communication open and understand that in order to get to that blissful state that you actually want, you got to be transparent. You got to open up. You got to let your partner understand why this thing happened you got to break down those walls of communication uh, i'm sorry break down those walls so you guys can communicate more and more and more and and you have to understand that this is a process it's a process so because the because the trust has been broken, it is not going to be mended in one night. It's not going to be mended in two nights. It's not going to be mended in a week. It's not going to be mended in a month. So if you are willing to put in the for real work that you lacked on the first time around, if you are willing to really put in that work, you can rebuild your partner's trust. You won't have to worry about after a while, so many questions, or them asking to see your phone, or them asking where you're going to be, and calling to check up on you to see that. Because here's the thing. 
You can get frustrated all you want to, but you have to remember, you didn't think about all of the stuff that you are now currently going through when you broke the trust. You didn't think about that. So now these are the consequences that you have to pay. Now, you don't have to stick around, right? You don't have to. But if you want your relationship to work, if you are ready to fight for your relationship, these are the things that you are going to now have to go through. It is what it is. Again, remember, all of those relationships that we might look up to and those oh, and, and uh, uh, the older generation that we see the people out there, the hold hands, they all lovey-dovey, they all wrapped up into each other, they still playful and everything. Trust me, they went through something to get that type of a relationship. They went through something in order to be able to communicate on that level, to be able to laugh and joke about anything, to be able to seriously walk down the street, not worry about nothing. If you, know, if you notice those happy, blissful couples... They pretty much have the world blocked out. It is their little world. They even speak their own little languages. You might be sitting there scratching your head like, what the hell did that mean? It has nothing to do with you. It wasn't for you to understand. That is their little world. But in order to get to that blissful state, and is this every relationship? Absolutely not. But the majority of relationships went through something. Because you are two people, two whole people. Hopefully, coming together. Now you're trying to build this life together. And there are going to be some struggles. There are going to be some arguments. Until you guys understand how to communicate with one another, until you guys understand how to speak each other's language, there are going to be some like tug of war, some internal relationship fights until, until you guys finally reach that smooth road where whatever is going on don't bother you no more because now you understand where they're coming from. You understand how to speak their language and you can just let them cool off. Right? You don't have to go behind them and ask them a million questions. What's going on? Tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me. You know that now, okay, you can kind of see their body language has changed. They kind of shut down or whatever. They even walked out of the room. Let them do what they do. Let them calm down and then once they come back, now you guys can discuss things like adults. And now you don't have to worry about apologizing for all of those mean things that you said. Because once the words are out there, whether you apologize for them or not, it's going to take a long time for that person to get over that particular phrase or that particular insult. Right? So no, yes, the trust can be Remended, absolutely, but it's gonna take some work, and it's 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 more than likely gonna take more work for you to keep that person than it would have taken you if the trust was never broken. But see, these are the things that we do to ourselves because we don't we don't think about the future when we put ourselves in these situations. And again, it doesn't matter what the trust was that was actually broken or why it was broken. Just know that it was broken. Usually it takes a lot more to regain that person's trust than it would have if it would have never been broken. All right, family, keep these things in mind. I hope that you guys have enjoyed this video. If you have, definitely give me thumbs up as usual. Have you been in a situation like this before? Has the trust ever been broken? You don't necessarily have to tell us what what it was but how did it get mended how long did it take was it months was it years do you completely trust your partner now these are some of the questions that i would love for you guys to answer down in the in the comment section below because you are not only helping me you are helping other audience members as well so make sure that you go ahead and check out the comment section down below now if you yourself have a question make sure that you contact me via any any of my social media sites um, they're all in the description box below. Now, if you have a longer story and a question, send it to me in my Gmail account. All right, guys. I love you guys. Thank you. Let me back up and say thank you so much for listening to me every single day this December 2017 because this is your questions that you guys have asked me and I want to make sure that I answer them. If you are not following me on my social media, make sure that you do that because I asked this particular question on my social media. So the next time I ask a question, you can throw your questions in there. All right. Definitely subscribe if this is your first time here. I will see you guys in a future video.